Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's Word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 12, 1-7. The people had gathered in their thousands so that they were treading on one another. And Jesus began to speak, first of all to his disciples. Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, that is, their hypocrisy. Everything that is now covered will be uncovered, and everything now hidden will be made clear. For this reason, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight. And what you have whispered in hidden places will be, will be proclaimed on the housetops. To you, my friends, I say, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and are after. That can do no more. I will tell you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has the power to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Can you not buy five our sparrows for two pennies? and yet not one is forgotten in God's sight? Why, every hair on your head has been counted. There is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. Celebrating our worth. We are cherished and valued by a God who cares for us deeply. Jesus says, you are worth more than a hundred sparrows. This statement by Jesus emphasizes the incredible value and worth of every individual. He uses the example of sparrows, which were considered insignificant in his time, to illustrate God's deep care and concern for even the seemingly insignificant aspects of creation. If God takes such meticulous care of creatures that are considered of little value, it underscores the idea that God's love and care for humanity, who are created in His image and likeness, is immeasurable. This message encourages us to recognize our own worth and importance in the eyes of God. It serves as a reminder that we are not insignificant or unimportant, but rather we are cherished and valued by a God who cares for us deeply. This is undoubtedly comfort and reassurance in times of doubt or difficulty, knowing that we are never abandoned and that we are truly worth more than we may sometimes believe. God's love for us is true and sincere, and that will never change. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.